can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi everybody, my name is Karen Levis and I wrote the words to this book. The art was created by Charles Santoso, who we're gonna get to draw with in a minute. Our book is called Mighty Muddy Us. So let's all say that together. Mighty Muddy Us. It's inspired by a real life pair of elephant siblings who live together in Amboseli National Park in Kenya. Our book blends fact and fiction to tell the tales of their adventures as the siblings stick together in seasons of dust and mud. They navigate challenges, have many joys, and some pretty silly times as they realize that they are always mighty when they are together. Speaking of mighty, I think it's time for our mighty special drawing lesson with Charles. So let's get some paper, pencil, markers, and get ready to draw. Oh, I'll show you my drawing after, and maybe I'll get to see some of your drawings too. Okay, so let's call Mighty Charles. One, two, three. Mighty Charles, we're ready to draw some mighty elephants. I can't wait. Thank you, Karen. Hi, my name is Charles Santoso, and I'm the illustrator for books like This Way Charlie, and also Mighty Muddy Ass. So today, we're going to learn how to draw elephants. So uh, some people say that drawing elephants is pretty hard, but I'm going to make sure that you can draw an elephant after seeing this video. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So I have all these materials here, papers and a pen, brush pen, pencil, um, color pencil, uh, but you can use any, any drawing materials that you have at home. So I am going to use marker today. So what I usually do is to draw a slide because elephant loves to slide, right? Yeah. And the mud, like, like that. And after that, you draw number three, but inverted. So it's like number three, but on to the opposite side, okay? And then after that, you draw another three, smaller one, on the end of this line here. And you follow the line up to there. There you go. And from this line here, you get to draw another slide, like big one, Woo, down, okay? And from here, draw lines like this. Oh, you can see the shape of an elephant there. So this is easy now. Draw another line there for the legs and draw another line there for the other legs and draw upwards, upwards, and join the line. All right, draw the tail. A little bit of a uh, hair on the end of the tails there yeah and you can draw the eyes there you go that's your elephant but no it's not finished yet so you draw another legs there because elephant has four legs right and don't worry if you make any mistakes you just get a new paper or you just draw on the side of the paper so never afraid of making mistakes so you draw three lines there, three lines there, three lines there, and three lines there. There you go, that's your first elephant. And what you can do on the ground there, you can see like, oh, I made a mistake there. No, that can be grasses. There you go. So elephants in the field of grass. Now you've done that, let's draw another elephant. Since you're really good at drawing elephants already, right? Let's make the elephants walking. How's that? So what you do is like, we will draw elephant facing this elephant. 
How was that? So, again, draw, slide, right? But the opposite side, yeah? And then you draw, num we, we draw a tree there, right? But let's try something different for the ear for this elephant. So it's like letter C, but to the opposite side. And we draw the number three again, but to the opposite side this time. And we trace a line from this end to the back and down. And we trace this line and go up. Yeah. From here, we draw a line downwards. Now we make the baseline for the feet. Go up, go up there, combine the line. Let's draw the tail. Maybe it's going up this time. There you go. The other two legs there, we can make it so he actually walk by doing this. Go, go make the line go straight like that. Not straight, but making it on that angle and draw the baseline and back. And then this one going to the back. You can see that the elephant is actually walking towards this elephant. And draw the legs. Three lines there, three lines there. Yeah, so we can also draw some grasses there too, if you want. Uh, what did we forget? Um, oh, the eyes. So the eye is going up there. So we draw two elephants there. So these are the two siblings, perhaps. If you want to draw tusk, elephant tusk, since some elephant have tusk, you can draw it like this. You draw a little line there here, next to the mouth, right? And then you just draw it like that. See, that's the elephant tusk. And this one is a young one, so he hasn't has the tusk yet. And um, as a bonus, maybe we draw some, I don't know, some butterflies maybe. Another number three there. And number three to the opposite side. And little shapes there. And that's the... That's butterfly. And you can draw another one there. Another one there. So um, hopefully you can draw the shapes and you can draw as many elephants in the background, little one maybe there, and uh, maybe some birds. Birds, you can just do it like this. This is birds in the distance. And you're starting to fill out the page with some animals and stuff. So, and then you can draw some flowers. And just continue until you finish with your drawing. There you go. That's my elephant drawings. Uh, I usually sign it in the end after I finish. So that's my signature. You should put your signature to, to there. And there you go. That's your elephant drawings. Yay! I hope you enjoy our drawing session. So I would love to see what you did. So share it with me. Also, Karen. Show us your elephant drawings. I want to see it too. So that's it for me for now. And I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you, Charles. That was so much fun. Did you all have as much fun as I did drawing elephants? 
Let me see those elephants out there. I bet there are so many elephants right now in the world from our drawings. So here is my drawing that I'm going to show you and I'm really proud about what I did with a mistake. So, because I listened to Charles' advice. So when I first did this drawing, you can see I ran out of room and the tail went whoop right off the page and I got grumpy. And then I remember what Charles said is to kind of keep thinking about it and draw. So I went whoop and I brought the tail back in in a different way because every artist is different. And since the book is called Mighty Muddy Us and I was feeling a little muddy while I was drawing. I drew them in the mud. So I really hope that you are sharing your elephants with your friends and your family and we'd love if you wanted to share them with us too. If you do, you can ask your grown-ups to put them on social media using the hashtags and the tags below. And if you're not on social media, you can still find Charles and I on our websites and we would love to hear about how you were drawing with elephants. So, Charles, thank you again so much. I especially like the drawing sounds when we went boop. That helped me learn the shapes. In fact, I'm gonna go keep drawing elephants now. How about you all? All right, thank you so much, Charles, and thank you, mighty readers.